Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4 Imperial Italy. We are still the Emperor. We're actually on a new king. Uh, ooh, Imperial Authority is now dropping. Because the Elector is a subject state. Mm, and the Heretic Princes. So we really do want to do something about that uh, at some point. Because I need 50... I have enough people voting for me, but I need 50 Imperial Authority to get the, um, the next reform passed. Uh, and actually, speaking of people voting for me... Hmm... You're actually friendly, so you'd even join an offensive war. That is... I am above my uh, relationship count as, as is. I don't think I can afford to go around and make some more alliances. But it would be damn, damn tempting to get a few more people against Austria. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go through the princes here. And just make sure that the princes who are in the list um, like me. See, I could actually declare war against you because you do hold some stuff. Maybe I should hold off and just focus on some of these others. So, and just sucking up to some of the princes just to make sure they keep voting for um, for my reforms. And just, you know, it's nice to develop some more relationships. They're not electors that I'm sucking up to right now, but, you know, I'm the emperor. Let's be friendly with all the people within my empire. I mean, the Holy Roman Empire, of which I'm simply the steward of. All right, we're working up our trade. We're competing a little bit more in the Alexandria trade node. I mean, it is still tough because we don't have any land over here, so our actual ability to um, influence is a bit limited. Whereas, uh, yeah, the Ottomans actually own all this territory, so they really have a lot of force pushing there. But we may as well try to squeeze out a few more bucks in this direction and see what we can do. We will have to deal with these Ottomans at some point. They are, like, sick potent. Could ally Tunis when the time comes. As is, I'm... I would like I would declare war on Austria today, but what I'm waiting for is um, my military, my next military tech. Good thing we're actually going up pretty quickly right now, which is good. Um, but it's still going to be 1644 till we get there. But hey, maybe it'll give us time to recover some more manpower too. That's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> so I don't have Margarita here for the fort defense. I have it mostly because she was level two and reasonable. I don't need the national unrest guy. Because we're actually good there, but... I mean, I guess I do have money. I could go and invest in more... Sure. More inflation reduction. Plus, it's an extra point. It'll help us catch up tech-wise. We have enough money. I think it might be worth doing that. Our admin power per month is pretty weak sauce. Hmm. But we're behind the time. So what the hell? Let's go and do that. We can always grab cheaper dudes later on. Let's recall that diplomat. And suck up to another random prince. Nuremberg. Improve relations. Okay. And yeah, we definitely have to liberate one of the electors from Austria. Uh, I mean, if nothing else, it sucks that that elector wants to vote for Austria. That's not good. Um, Alexandria. Alexandria. I mean, I don't think they'll have enough ships there to actually make a huge difference. But if we can manage to suck up, you know, even a, a fraction of a gold per month from out of the Ottomans, it may be helpful. There's something to be said. Oh, yeah, actually, it is contributing some amount. That's not too bad. Um, there's something to be said about the fact that I don't have, say, a, a lot of times I like to get 7 or even 80% trade power in a node before I stop focusing ships there. But I think we'll just have to accept that, frankly, without grabbing more territory here, we've got a real limited ability to... Add more. We do have some money. I wonder, can I build some trade stuff over here? No, these guys are already capped out. I could improve the um, the development here. What do we have? Workshop, training field. I could develop this up to 20 and build an extra building. Oh, this would be a little easier to get there. Oh, it already has a marketplace, though. That's, I like to find things that are just below their, um, their development number. You know, because every time you get to 10 development, you can build another building. I don't have a ton of money, though, so I guess I, I'm not really in a position to do that. It's because I'm... Yeah, pause first. It's because I did get the advisors. I did go and build a bastion in Badawa. Well, now I built it. There we go. I think that is a very good defensive building. I'm going to be really happy with that. And it means that we are now getting the full one point from maintain forts instead of 0 0.95. I mean, our army tradition is still going down right now just because it's relatively high. But whatever we can do to slow it down, that's not bad. Send some extra ships over there. We got another one here as well. Love the fact that these fleets combine. They don't always combine very quickly, but inevitably they will combine together. Alright, yeah, we're grabbing a little bit more money out of there. It's something. 
Not only does it increase our income a little bit, but it decreases the Ottoman income a little bit, and there's a lot of value in that. It's not a huge difference, but it's a difference. Ships right now, we've got eight more, eight more in production. Oops, I missed something along the way. That's too many. We want four more. There we go. Just probably miscounted somewhere along the way. So that'll bring us up to our naval force limit. Um, sure, Oldenburg, that's fine. Next trade idea is coming up soon. I mean, we can get more trade efficiency from the Diplo level, but no, I'm going to finish all the trade ideas first because they do stack up very well. The extra merchant, more caravan power is not actually bad. There's a lot of stuff here that's good, but we'll get two extra merchants and we'll put them to really good use. And of course, the more ideas you have in a category, the cheaper the tech gets. We can already see it here. Uh, ideas, 22% less. So by finishing this, we'll get a, a discount. So we may as well finish the ideas first. Uh, except for the military, this tech level 19 is really important. If I'd had that in that last war, I think I might have gone ahead and kept fighting until I got France to like give up something much more substantial. But as is, I have no... I'm, I'm perfectly happy with the fact that we peaced out of that war uh, as soon as we got a chance to basically just white peace with them. Let's get some more relationship improvements with some of these guys. And again, right now, I want to keep everyone independent. I'm not looking to necessarily vassalize anyone. Um, keep the HRE relationships overall as positive as possible. And yeah, really want to go declare war on Austria. So around 44, 1644 was when we were predicted to finish our military tech. Okay. Oh, Defender of the Faith makes it more expensive. I wouldn't cry if someone else took it over right now, but that's okay. Do we want to go up to a level 3 military guy? I think the answer is yes. It's a lot of money. Uh, nope, I want the idea. There we go. Extra merchant. Nice. Now, we do have to choose a few things. Um, we could compete here. Just a few extra bucks. And we can actually... Yeah, that's the reason Genoa is so powerful. Is we can pull money out of Seville. And actually, that's probably the thing I should be doing. My idea was to pull money out of Constantinople, shift it over to Ragusa. But no, this this makes more money. This makes more sense. Well, it makes more money as well. Yeah, um, this fleet here, you're going to work Seville instead. And you're going to join in there as well. So right now, made 38. Uh, I don't know if it'll tick in for the next month yet, because I don't know if people will have arrived. 37, it actually went down. But that's, I think, the next month it'll go up. I think it was just still adjusting. But yeah, we're losing an extra, a whole gold over here. Um, I don't, well, it would cap us back out on prestige. But no, we're, we're okay, we'll just put the money in directly. I actually don't know how much we're pulling in there. We've only gone up an extra 1%. Ah, oh, and there. Now, now we've gone up in rank. Our ships are actually counting. It's the next month. Um, so how much does that do for us? Yes. Okay. We're making more money by doing it this way. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, I'm tempted to move my entire fleet over there. I wonder if that'll be better. So what did we make this month? 40.29. So if I did move my entire fleet over to the Seville node, which will weaken me a little bit here, but we'll move more money out of there. We'll do that. Now, I'm worried that it'll give me a trade dispute with um, with Spain, who I have a good friendship with. Who's at 40.29? Let's go and take a look. February 1st. Whoa, that was a bad move. Yeah, wow, we dropped too much trade power over there. Way too much. Now, as a reversal of that, what if we just put everyone in Seville? Or, sorry, in Genoa. You... And, oh, actually... Oh, that gave us the majority or something. Wow, crazy. We're pulling a lot of money out of there. We're just not capitalizing on over here. So we'll compare. I suspect about a 50-50 split will be the ideal. Well, let's spend another month. We'll have everyone over here. Put 
probably math that out or figure it out. Yeah, it's only bringing us up because we were at what, like 59% before? With all the ships, it only brings us up to 64%. Yeah, no, I think we'd get more because there's sort of a diminishing return if we split this half and half. Which will keep our trade power in Genoa relatively high, but then also funnel more money out of there. Okay. And we are at our force limit now. We we is. <laughs> Let's check it in April. Yeah. Maybe not as good as it could be. We'll call it fine enough and we'll figure something out. Yeah, and Franche Corte is in the wrong node, right? Yeah. It's over here, which doesn't help us much. So, um, how's my tech level? Okay, Dauphiné. And we don't have the Diplo power, but that would be... Actually, this gives me more good. It doesn't actually give me more trade power here. So yeah, we're going to bring uh, Dauphiné up to a 20 strength, and then we're going to build a trade depot here. Trade power from development and mercantilism. Trade value. So trade value adds more value to the node, but trade power actually lets us grab more of a percentage. So by putting points into base production over here, we do produce more goods. It doesn't give us any more power here. So it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll go ahead and, like, Put in a little bit of a mix of stuff. Certainly not from military points, though. There we go. Bring it up to 20 and build me a marketplace. Get a little bit more trade power to there. That'll be nice. Oh, also, are you not in the HRE? You're not. Neither are you. Oh, I don't think I could put it in because it had, like, separatism or something. Is there anything else that I own that's not in the HRE? I don't think so. Because I don't own any of that, right? Um, I guess I could... No, I think we're okay. Hey, look at that. A little bit more power. Oh, and we're... Oh, yeah, we're not capped on the papal points. I think I'm just going to spend money on mercantilism for way more, like, just trade power, which is really good. Don't get me wrong, the stability is really good, but there's no real good way to bring up mercantilism. And it is potent. You get more tr provincial trade power from that. Now, that doesn't help me grab trade from over here, but it will give me more trade here without more ships, which is nice. And certainly once I take more territory. Now, the problem is I don't have like enough territory in either one of these trade nodes, and I really need to expand in that direction. Basically, I need to e just eat Provence. That would be the sweet thing, because... Oh, there we go. There's the estuary. That's nice. This... this this province specifically, the province of Provence, would be the thing to grab, but honestly, all of it would be pretty good. But I guess you can, even capitals, you can grab them now. Relatively high development. Let's go. I do have to worry about those coalitions, of course. But I don't have a CB against you, right? Russia, Saxonburg, Alsace. Russia would jump in, really? I don't think I'd call you in. What kind of allies do you have? Poland. Well, then actually, it might matter. You know. You're not an HRE member. No, no, you're too powerful. Damn. I was going to say, maybe I could just vassalize you. I mean, most likely if I'm going to go to war, it's going to be Austria, but I might be able to sneak in a little thing. I should fabricate a claim and keep it on there. It'd be nice if I can fabricate on Provence, but I can't. I'm going to fabricate on Drag... Draghi... Guan? I don't know. This place. Um, on Dragula. And, um, because I'll want to grab that and this to make sure it's nice and contiguous. So we'll do that. We might get caught. We might get a little bit more aggressive expansion, which would certainly suck. How much do we have against France still? Oh, hardly any. Uh, taking the provinces might send us back into coalition territory, but we'll, we'll deal with that when we get there. How come I don't have any money? I mean, I do have lots of advisors. But well, that's less than good. Plus, I'm going to have to repay this loan at some point. When does it come due? That's not it. Oh, here. We replayed in 47. So it's probably been renewed once. Although renewing it just gives me more inflation, which is getting burned off pretty damn fast. 
A bunch of truces just expired. Oh, that's the um, that's the coalition truce. Oh, also, I'm supposed to be insulting someone. I totally forgot to do that. Not much power projection as is. Be nice to get some more. Really? Oh. You have supply reach? Wait, do I have, um... Of course I do. Cancel fleet basing rights. I'm spending on docking fees. I just noticed, I realized, I saw something in here. Harbor fees. I'm spending two gold per month on that. Now, it hasn't updated these numbers yet. And yeah, we are getting attritioned out here. So I might not be able to patrol the Seville trade node properly. In fact, I'm going to say that I, I can't. As a result... As a result, let's go back to sucking the trade out of the Alexandria trade node. At least for now. I'm going to go ahead and keep my guy here. Um, actually, unless I want to grab it out of this, that would be better. Because right now it's going to Alexandria and it's full. I could just pull it into Seville. So let's transfer trade instead of the, uh, the Seville trade node. I'm, I'm saying all these words wrong. Because it's going here. I'm not really contributing much. Well, the downstream is happening, but I don't even need a merchant to be here to do that. This is the Tunis trade node, which I shouldn't, I believe, be able to send my ships to right now, because I don't have any land. Oh, I can. Really? Even without a merchant there? I should automatically be trying to pull trade forward to here by default, I think. Let's find out what happens. Without a merchant. I shouldn't have to steer it. It should auto-steer it here. Or does it auto just split between the two? Well, we'll find out. Let's wait for uh, April 1st and see what we do. I may have to move a merchant there. No, you can see we're pulling it here automatically. Very nice. We actually have the most trade power here. Well, about 50%. And that's something. So it doesn't matter that we're not pulling as much trade out of Seville anymore. Okay. I think that's okay. Um, we're only making 35 right now, which is definitely less... But, actually, it would be worth getting the docking fees. Pay the docking fees, and then compete over here. Although, it gives Seville more money, or they, it gives um, Spain more money. I, this will be fine for now. We'll have to work something out later on. Um, unless I did want to work Constantinople. Let's call it good enough for now. How are we doing trade-wise here? How can we have such a negative? Embargoed by the Ottomans. Ah... Either way, oh, uh, I don't need the prestige. Either way, we get manpower for six years, plus one stability. Can't complain about that. Spice trade. Actually, having low stability was one of the reasons we weren't making as much money either. Hmm. Those advisors, we are paying a lot for them, but for now, it's okay. We'll go ahead and get rid of the plus three guy at some point. There we go. We're closing in on our military technology. We, did, we are going to get this a couple of months earlier than we would have, which is worth something. It's actually going to be this year. You know what? Let's go ahead and crank our maintenance then so that we'll be ready to go to war the moment that pops. We don't have a leader here? There we go. Get yourself over there. I'm just going to wait until you've started moving. That way we can hopefully not step on each other too, too much. And you can go up to Verona. And you don't have a leader either. Oh, we only have the two. Oh, um, let's roll our king. Hey, not bad. Okay. Uh, stop there, and you stop there, actually. That'll make way more sense. How are we looking? There we go. Boom. More supply, more tactics, which is really important, and always nice to see better infantry. I don't think it matters which one I grab. Actually, maybe these over here. These guys have more morale, but these guys have more actual pips of damage dice, which is all good. Assad's hungry. They would still get Poland. Damn, that's disappointing. Still, we should be able to move in on Austria really fast. Poland, what are you packing these days? 
quite a bit hungry. Not as much. Austria? Not that much, really. Um, I suppose I could wait until someone else got into a war. That might not be a bad idea. I could still wait. You know what? We're so close to finishing this quest. Let's just let's just put this on hold. We're almost done the manpower quest. Oh, Bohemia. Yeah, um the man on lawful territory. The other thing we could do is declare war on one of these Protestants. That would be quite nice. Basically just Bohemia. They've got the unlawful territory. They do not have a useful ally. And Saxony is a little bit more on the potent side, but not that much. Saxony, what? Oh, you're, you're Catholic, is that? Hmm? Um, we could take Milan out of the picture instantly. And actually separate piece them out and maybe even take something from them. Again, we've got to worry about aggressive expansion. Actually, I don't know if we can take anything from them with this CB. Stay there. Yeah, we'll just start by nuking Milan, taking them out of the battle right from the start, and then we'll move up there. I think I like that quite a bit. Oh, unlawful territory. Then I not... Uh... Oh, you had more than one, right. We're going to demand for both. Okay, still have that loan. That sucks, but, you know... Whatever. Uh, we don't need as much inflation reduction. We don't need the Diplo rep right now. I should at least keep a guy, even though we have to pay up front. But the, the level 1 guys are so cheap that they it never makes sense not to have a level 1 guy. Now, just doing that will save us a pretty substantial amount of money. So I think I'm okay with that. I'll keep the uh, level 3 military guy. Um, yeah. I'll keep him there for now. That way we won't fall behind anymore. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and declare war on Bohemia. We're going to start the war by nuking the crap out of Milan. Taking them out of the picture. It would be nice to swallow up some of their provinces. Um, and two of these are in the, the Genoan trade node. You seriously have 58 development. God, God. The aggressive expansion we get from just taking that. I don't know if we can. I don't remember. With the CB, we may not be able to take... Like, all the things. Um, lose prestige, but gain some points of some kind. Or lose Master Recruiter, which is my level 3 dude. Uh, we can lose a little prestige. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I guess we're going to put a cut in here. When we come back, we are going to do that. We're going to try to force convert Bohemia, which will be really, really nice for to do. Uh, but we could also force them to release some stuff, which would also be great. So, we're actually getting attrition over there. Really? We wouldn't get the attrition here, so let's move there. Get one less tick. Venice. Cork. Bottle stoppers. How exciting is that? Okay, we're going to let Fe February tick. Going to be at full morale everywhere. That looks pretty good. Okay, we're going to put a cut in here. Next episode, war. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.